Good morning, Trail Freak here coming at you from Brown's Landing. It's situated on the Ross Barnett Reservoir in, hey, I can't remember what county it's in, but it's near Jackson. These trails out here are probably the best beginner trails there are in this state, state of Mississippi. The very first trail they built out here, it's, it's nice and flat. They call it the highway or the speedway, I think. And uh, it's flat, does like a big circle. I think it's just under a mile, 0.5, maybe, maybe a half mile. It's a pretty good loop, and it's just perfect for beginners. It's flat, there's no hills in this loop or anything. And you can bring little kids out here, or somebody who's never rid ridden a mountain bike before, and it's just an awesome place to ride. Good morning. And I know I know a lot of people that come I know a lot of people that come out here and rode for the first time on the mountain bike and now they're riding all kinds of other trails and, you know this is this is the trail that got them started. And the sad thing is this is probably gonna be the last time I'm get to come out here because a company has bought the land and they are going to build condos and apartments or something out here. Which is very sad because this trail system is freaking awesome, especially for people who's never ridden mountain bikes before. This place is a good place to come out and learn. And it's just sad that they're going to develop this place into condos or apartments, whatever it's going to be. It's just sad they're going to tear most of this stuff out. They did say that some of the trails might still be here, but I don't see that happening. Anyway, I'm going to take you on a little tour, maybe just a Get a little bit of footage out here to show you what it's like and to kind of document the trails before they're gone forever and uh i may be this may be the first video that i start a series on i'm gonna do like a series on mississippi trails and of course i haven't done very much research on this one you know like tell you where i mean how it come about when it was built and stuff like that. But I know the group that built this trail is TC MBA, Tri-County Mountain Bike Association. They're a great group of folks. I got, I think there's three trail systems including this one. Got the Ridgeland, got this one. You got a Butts, Buddy Butts Park, and a new trail system in Brandon called the Quarry Trails. So how many, that's four, of course. And they're working on the quarry trails, getting them ready, because that's basically going to be replacing this trail. So, hopefully, I mean, they got a loop, they got like a three mile loop out there so far. And I've done a video on it, so check that one out. But, uh, right, I'm fixing to get on a bike and make a loop. And, uh, you know, the first loop I make will be on the uh, speedway. Then I, oh yeah. I know I didn't say it earlier, but there's more trails than just this little speedway. There's some offshoot trails that are a little more advanced, but still beginner friendly. They're not that bad. There's a couple little places. It's like a punchy little climb. There's no big, huge hills out here. There's no uh, crazy roots or anything like that. It's all mellow, nice, flowy trails that are just awesome for beginners. And I hate to see this place go because. I brought my kids out here and they loved it. They loved this trail, this trail system because it was easy for them. They could ride it and go around this loop a few times and man, it was a blast. Anyway, I'm going to hit some of these trails and get you a little bit of footage of them. So, see you at the end. That's what they call the highway. And also, also have heard it called the speedway. Because it's really fast and flat.
right, that was one loop of the, the highway, the beginner trail. So now I'm gonna go hit another. Nice little single track. It's still considered a green, so kids can ride it. My kids rode it, and it's not too bad. Whoa. All right. Yeah, nice little tree crossing here. I think maintenance has slowed down a little bit on this trail because of the development that's about to go on. But there's still people from the TCBM, TC MBA that comes out here and cleans up because you know, they're gonna try to ride as long as possible on here. Because these are some amazing little trails. Headed on loop two. I don't think they ever named this one. I'm not sure. All right, that was loop two. We're back on uh, the highway. I'm gonna go back this way and uh, get on loop three. Four. Man, this place is awesome. Can't get over. Can't get over that these trails will be gone soon. Man, this place is awesome. That's one of the fun little things out here. The transition ain't very good, so kind of G out at the bottom and you ain't got much to come out. You can't cut. I don't know where, but anyway. Yeah, that's one of the fun little spots out here at Browns. I just got finished riding browns. Like I say, it's, it's sad to see a trail that's going away. Hopefully it'll be a while before it starts going away, but I see some guys out here doing some little surveying, so there ain't no telling how long it'll be. But if you can, if you live in Mississippi and never rode these trails, you need to get out here and ride them before they're gone. And if you're just passing through Mississippi, stop by and ride these trails. They're, I forgot how awesome these trails are. They're pretty the newest sections back here are pretty awesome. And, uh, Tri County Mountain Bike, they've done an excellent job of building these trails and keeping them up. And hate to see them go. Like I say again, it's sad to see them go away. But uh, like I say, come ride these trails before they're gone. And just ride, man. See you next time.